Welcome to this edition of Financial Victory in Minutes. This is video three in a three video set, and we're looking at specific ways for you to save more of your hard earned money to put to use for your financial goals. A vital component to being able to save money is to stop money leaks. Money leaks are when money gets spent and you don't know where. This happens to most of us at some point. The very best way to stop money leaks is to track your spending every day for a month. This means carrying a little notebook and pencil with you and not spending one single penny without writing it down. If the entire family does this, you will find areas to save. Now, if you have children in your household, I strongly urge you to get them involved. If you put savings in specific terms that have real meaning to your children, saving can often become a competitive game to them. When motivated, children are generally more persistent and detail-oriented than adults. If your kids are motivated by the goal and understand ways to save, they can help you tremendously. For example, a child could be told that the family needs to save in order for there to be gifts this holiday season, or a vacation, or new clothes. If the child is then shown information on savings, such as the tips in this video, the child may stop you from spending on unnecessary items or even find bargains for you. If you nearly always get a sizable tax refund, another issue is your withholding. Many people use tax refunds as a sort of forced savings account. I've never understood this. I actually saw clients who would go into debt all year because they didn't have enough income for their living expenses, but they'd say they were just waiting for their tax refund to pay their bills. Well, that's a double hit since they got no interest on their tax refunds and they pay interest on the debt they accumulated. If you get a large tax refund each year, talk to your employer's personnel office or your tax preparer to see how you can change the number of exemptions you claim so that you come out not owing any taxes, but not having a large refund either. Because if you're getting a large tax refund each year, then you gave the government the use of your money all year long interest-free. The government doesn't pay you interest on your money that it holds. The government gets to keep that interest, and you could have had that money to use or earn interest on. If you increase the number of exemptions you claim, you'll get more money each pay period and less of a refund at tax time. The dollars that are added to your paycheck can help you to balance your budget or be drawing interest for you. Now, if you've done all you can and your expenses are still more than your income, you'll have to make some bigger changes to reduce your spending increase your income, or even both. Big changes may be necessary to get back on track. One solution is to get a roommate or housemate to share the cost of utilities and rent or mortgage. Of course, be sure you learn enough about the person to feel confident that he or she will be trustworthy and make all agreed payments and make a written agreement that you both sign. If you're self-employed and have an office outside your home, Consider the possibility of moving your office to your home. This eliminates office rent and utilities, and you'll save on transportation costs. Having a home office also lets you eat at home, and a portion of your utilities and home rent or mortgage payment will be tax deductible. On the other hand, if you're self-employed and even with expense reductions, you're realistically not making a profit, it may be time to do a reality check and look for a steady paycheck. Another option to balance your budget is to look into whether a part-time job for you, your spouse, or your teenage child is possible and could bring in enough extra income to make up a budget shortfall. Now, many of my clients thought they couldn't earn more because of their childcare responsibilities. The work from home area is rampant with scams and fraud, but if you learn how to spot the scams and take wise precautions, it very well may be possible for you to earn some additional income from home. Warning, do not attempt to get work from home income without first learning how to avoid the scams. You can start on Hummingbirds Learning Center or on the websites of the FTC, 
AARP or the Better Business Bureau. If you've tried everything you can to increase your income and reduce your expenses and you're still in trouble, you may need to consider drastic action until you're back on your feet again financially. Drastic steps might include asking friends or family for help or even moving in with a friend or family to save money until you're more financially stable. Getting help if you need it can be the first positive step towards a better financial future. This concludes our three video set on money saving strategies. Hopefully it's given you some ideas on how to shape your spending so that you get to keep more of your hard earned money. And as always, remember, you have the ability and the power to achieve your financial goals. <laughs>